Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will learn how to generate multiple e-way bills online in bulk using Tally Prime. You may be generating multiple e-way bills daily for the movement of consignments worth either rupees 50,000 or more or the value prescribed by each state. You may be availing the transporter details of all the consignments later in the day. And therefore, you would want to generate e-way bills for all the transactions at the end of the day. Tally Prime 2.0 onwards, you have a facility to generate and also cancel or update Part B for multiple e-way bills in bulk using the option Send for e-way bill under Exchange on the top menu. While saving the voucher, Tally Prime asks if you want to send voucher details for e-way bill generation. You can click No and then you can send for e-way bill generation later through Exchange. If you do not wish to generate e-way bills at the time of voucher creation and always generate in bulk, then disable e-way bill generation at the time of voucher creation. Let's see how to do it. Just set send e-way bill details after saving the voucher to no in the F12 configuration of voucher. Subsequently, you will find this transaction under the send for e-way bill section in exchange. You can then send it for e-way bill along with other transactions ready for generation, cancellation or Part B updation as applicable. It is a one-time setup and will apply to all the vouchers for which you may want to generate e-way bill in future. Now let's see how to generate e-way bills in bulk. Click exchange on top menu or press Alt Z. Now click send for e-way bill. The send for e-way bill screen appears and all the transactions eligible for e-way bill generation, part B updation and cancellation are listed. Let's select three transactions for different purposes to exchange e-way bill information with the e-way bill system. Press spacebar to select the transactions. If you do not select any transaction and click send, then all the transactions listed here will be sent for exchange of information with the e-way bill system. If you want to generate e-way bills offline, then click offline export or press X. As a result, the JSON files for the selected transactions will be generated. You can then upload the JSON files on the e-way bill system to generate e-way bill. For online e-way bill generation, click send or simply press S. The e-way bill login screen appears as you can see. Enter your username and password. You will remain logged in for the next 6 hours provided you do not turn off the system you are working on or reset the credentials. Press Enter. As you can see, Tally Prime is exchanging the e-way bill information with the e-way bill system. Once the exchange is completed, you will get an exchange summary with the number of transactions successful for e-way bill generation, cancellation and Part B updation. You can then check the latest status of the transactions in the e-way bill report. Press Alt G, type or select e-way bill and press enter. As you can see, the transaction selected for e-way bill generation is under the e-way bill generated without Part B section. On the other hand, the transaction selected for e-way bill cancellation is under the e-way bill cancelled section. Moreover, the transaction for which Part B got updated 
is now in the e-way bill generated with part B section. If the request for any transaction is rejected by the e-way bill system, then those transactions will be under the rejected by e-way bill system section. When you drill down to those transactions, you will know the errors after which you can take necessary actions to rectify them. You can then send them for e-way bill generation, cancellation or part B updation as applicable. As you saw, Tally Prime facilitates a simple online process for e-way bill generation, cancellation, part B updation and other e-way bill activities for multiple transactions in bulk.